A Munich court has found a retired Ohio auto worker guilty of serving as a Nazi death camp guard during World War II. 91-year-old John Demyanyuk was charged with more than 28,000 counts of accessory to murder. The prosecution argued Demyanyuk was a guard at the Sobibor death camp in Poland. There is no evidence he committed a specific crime, but prosecutors argued that if he was a guard at the camp, he was a participant in the murders. Everybody who participated in murdering their family has to face his responsibility until the end of his life. John Demyanyuk is, is just a scapegoat for the Germans. The, he has to pay for all the mistakes they made in the past, and that's not justice. The verdict closes the latest chapter in more than 30 years of legal battles for Demyanyuk. In the 1980s, he stood trial in Israel, accused of being the notoriously brutal guard Ivan the Terrible at the Treblinka extermination camp. He was convicted and sentenced to death, but he was freed when an Israeli court overturned the ruling, saying the evidence showed he was a victim of mistaken identity. A key piece of evidence in this trial was an SS identity card that allegedly shows a picture of a young Demyanyuk. His attorney maintains the document is a KGB forgery and was part of a smear campaign against anti-communists. Documents unearthed by the AP indicate that FBI field agents had similar doubts when investigating the case in 1985. The AP spoke to Demyanyuk's son when the story broke last month. We now have documents to show that the FBI, as early as 1985, was suspect of the evidence coming from the Soviet Union in my father's case. Demyanyuk's family has maintained he was a victim of the Nazis. The Ukrainian-born retiree says he fought with the Soviets and was captured and held as a prisoner of war. He says he later joined an anti-Soviet army fighting with the Germans. He was sentenced to five years in prison. The prosecution recommended a six-year sentence. It was not immediately clear how much credit he would get for time already served. The defense has vowed to appeal Thursday's verdict. Nolwag, we the Associated Press.